welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about the ominous coronavirus, COVID-19. It's a very big hot topic in the world right now. I figured I would jump on that bandwagon and keep going with it. So here I'm going to talk about my thoughts about this whole coronavirus and then I'm going to make another video about things to do while you are quarantined. So let's get on with this video. So I know these are scary times for a lot of you. I know these are unprecedented times in your life and you might be worried about loved ones, especially those who are elderly or those with immunodeficiency problems and those who are just more at risk. And I'm sorry for any of you who have the disease, have had it or will have it. And I, I, I hope none of you get it. So luckily for me, I'm in the good old state of New York, a great hot spot for this disease virus thing. So lucky me, but luckily I am not in like a major hot spot in New York. So that's good news. Um, I'm sorry for those of you who are in the hot spot of New York because that must stink. But I just wanted to say something, a couple things. There are a couple things I wanted to say. My sister was making this comment and honestly it makes so much sense. Um, you got to thank modern medicine. You got to be appreciative of modern medicine because the only reason why this whole coronavirus type of deal doesn't happen all the stinking time is because of modern medicine, because of the vaccines we have, the medications we have, and all the precautions and things that we know to do. That's why this whole quarantine and virus taking over the world thing doesn't happen constantly. And the only reason why this virus is so bad is because we don't have a treatment for it. So if so, thanks to modern medicine, this doesn't happen all the time. So be appreciative of your hospitals, your doctors, your nurses, your PAs, your what are they called? Nurse nurse practitioners and all of them. Because honestly, if they weren't around, you probably wouldn't be around. Also, I know these are scary times unprecedented times, but you are literally being asked to just sit in your house. You're not being asked to go to war. You're not being asked to give up all your possessions. You're not being asked to go to some type of like concentration camp. You are literally being asked to just sit on your couch and watch TV, do puzzles, paint, make videos and stuff like that. So I know it's not totally easy, but it's not that hard comparatively. You're not being bombed. You're not, you're, you just need to stay home. And for those of you who have a crappy home, I am sorry. For those of you who don't have a nice home life, I am sorry. It's much harder for you. So for those of you who have a nice cozy home to just stay at and you have the supplies you need, be thankful. Because not everybody has a great home life. Think of these people who honestly just want to be out of their house as much as possible because their home life stinks. And now they have to be there all the time. So feel bad for them. And be grateful that you have the commodities necessary and the, the, the privilege to be in a nice house. That brings me to another point. Um, for those of you who have mental health problems, this can be an extra hard time for you because if you're already prone to anxiety, this uh, time of worry can produce more anxiety and that's not pleasant at all and I'm sorry and a lot of people with things like depression they oftentimes count on leaving their house as a distraction as something to get away from their mental torture and get a distraction for their life and honestly like going out getting some coffee going out hanging out with friends so you have to learn how to do self-care at home, how to help yourself deal and cope at home for an indefinite amount of time. And that could be a struggle. And maybe I'll do another video about how to do self-care at home during this self-quarantine time. All right? 
So I, that's about all the thoughts I have. Um, I just wanted to say that. I hope you liked it. I know you might be worried, but relax. <sighs> Deep breaths. You can do this. We can do this together. Americans can pull together. The people of the world can pull together. We can do this. We can get over this. And we will not, I repeat, we will not let a virus stop us. All right? All right. So I hope you have a great day. Stay tuned for more videos. All right? Love you. Bye.